Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. And today, or tonight actually, in this video, I'm going to be reading a part from the book of Star Wars Darth Plagueis. In which uh, there was a part where Darth Maul was actually introduced. Which is one of my favorite parts. One of my most favorite. And I'm going to read some of it to you right now. Okay, just to let you know that um, it's been a while since I read out loud. A very long while, so... Um, <laughs> forgive me if I screw up every now and then. Um, you know, like I said, it's been a while. But this is the part where Senator Palpatine was actually um, confronted by a lady who had a bag which had the infant of uh, Darth Maul when he was when he was a baby. So I'm um, gonna be reading some parts from this in and out. I'm gonna be explaining what I you know what happened. While at, the, while at the same time reading parts from this book, she confronts him by saying, Good sir, she said in basic as she drew near. Uh, framing intense in the cheap wares of art. Right here, and then she's like um, coming up to him. And then Palpatine is like looking at her and saying, are you addressing me? He asked. I am, sir. If you are, if you have a moment to indulge in a being in need. So he was like probably wondering why is she like even talking to me, that kind of thing. And Palpatine pretty much answered like, why single me out among this crowd of more richly and tired beings? Because you have the look and, and bearing of a man of intelligence and influence, she gestured broadly. The rest are rebel, despite their fine cloaks and headwear. And he's like pretty much like, like, oh my gosh. Like what, what what's going on here kind of thing you know that's and then he was pretty much to me like uh suppressing with a yawn or kind of something like that save your alterations for the rubes woman but since you've correctly identified me as the better than the rest you're obviously aware that i have no time to waste on confident games or tricks so if it's mere credits you're after. I suggest you widen your search for someone more charitable. I don't ask for credits, she said, studying him openly. So he got, a, he got kind of frustrated and he was like, what then? Come to the point. It's a gift I offer. Palpatine laughed without, I'm sorry, I can't even pronounce this word right now. And uh, what could you possibly have to offer someone like me? With a mild chuckle. Just this. And this is the part where she opened up a bag showing his hairless infant. And he had these stalk pigments of horns. I'm sorry, pliant horns, forgive me. Like I said, I'm gonna screw up and every now and then, I just know it. <laughs> and, his, and his body with, with the black and red. And right away, that's, kind of, that's how I kind of I knew. And then Palpatine looked at him. And it was more of a, he, he called a Dothamarian. How do you come to this newborn? 
Have you stolen him? You misunderstood. You misunderstand, good sir. My own child this is. And here she is trying to explain to him what, what's going on. You say you have a gift and yet you dissemble. Have you had dealings that have led you to into deep debt that you would part with your own flesh and blood? Or perhaps you are addicted to spice or some other intoxicant. N neither. I seek only to save his life. Then speak honestly. You're a long way from your coven, night sister. And that's, that's when you pretty much realize, like, oh my gosh. And a practitioner of magics more than a significant to keep your child from harm. Her eyes open wide and bored into him in search of explanation. How? Never mind how I know, which Palpatine said sharply, the child, whether yours or not, is a night brother conceived for the purpose of serving the sisterhood as a warrior or slave. She refused to answer, she refused to avert her gaze. You are not a Jedi. Clearly I am not. As I suppose you have already, already intuited. But you still haven't answered my question. Why are you trying to rid yourself of the infant? To spare the one for the sake of the other, she said. After a moment. What po who poses the threat? Talzin is her name. Who is Talzin? The night sister mother. Where is the infant's father? Dead by tradition. Will the infant not be missed? Townsend knows only of the one, not the other. You delude yourself. Gently she pushed her shoulder bag towards him. Then took, then take him please. What what I do with him? This one is strong with the force. In the right hands, he can become a powerful asset. Servitude of a different sort. She ignored the remark. Take him. Save him. Palpatine regarded the newborn again. Have you named him? This is the best part right here. <clears throat> Have you named him? Maul, he is called. Befitting the power you divine in him, she nodded. Take him. Palpatine gazed at, at her, monitoring with his right hand, said, You will forget this encounter. She looked eyes with him. I will try. For your own sake, I hope you do. Now go, before I change my mind. Placing the bag in his hand, she turned and hurried off, disappearing into the crowd. Palpatine studied the bundle of, of life he held. That the force was strong, that the force was strong, in the infant was reason enough not to allow him to to wander about unprotected and perhaps fall into the hands of the Jedi. Now Palpatine simply had to figure out what to do with him. Well, that's it for this part, like I just said. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's an awesome book. 
and I liked it a lot. And again, Darth Maul. And to all of you, take care.